Hey everybody, welcome to Reach Church Live online. If you're watching on YouTube, be sure to click subscribe and comment and share with a friend through text message or whatever you wish. If you're watching from Facebook, be sure to click share and also comment and post it on your personal page. If you're sitting with your family, if you're sitting with your mom, coworker, whoever, take a selfie and tag us in a post on the story so we can see you guys because we miss you guys so much. And be sure to follow us on Instagram at Reach Church Tampa. Follow us on Facebook at Reach Church Tampa if you haven't already. And visit our website at reachtampa.com. We love you guys and we're going to take it to Pastor Q for praise and worship. Good morning, good morning. Happy Mother's Day, ladies. Are you ready to praise God? I hope you're looking pretty with your beautiful slippers on. <laughs> Come on and lift your hands and get ready to praise God this morning. We give you glory, we give you honor, God. Come on and clap those hands together. Hear the holy roar of God resound. Watch the waters part before us now. Come and see what he has done for us. Tell the world of his great love, our God. Our God saves. Our God, our God saves.
the depths of the sea creations revealing your majesty from the colors of fall to the fragrance of spring every creature
beautiful name it is. What a beautiful name it is. The name of Jesus Christ, my King. What a beautiful Welcome to our online service here at Reach Church Tampa, located in Luce, Florida, just yes. outside of Tampa. We are so excited to have you with us. You can also visit us online at reachtampa.com and follow us on Facebook and Instagram and also our YouTube channel. 
Also, we have a very, very special and fun kids' church service that takes place on YouTube channel so your kids ages 4 to 5th grade can enjoy a lesson that is taught on their level and they have their own music and praise and worship. So be sure to let them go ahead and watch that and enjoy. Also, for your convenience, we offer several ministries and opportunities for you and your family to get connected here at Reach Church. You can get more details about that on our website as well. Also, our services will be broadcasted live on YouTube and Facebook each Sunday at 9.55 a.m. We invite you to join us and be a part of that each week. We also will be starting a live broadcast during the week, and we'll have more information on that to come. So we're very, very excited about that. Right now, please click share on Facebook and share our YouTube page with your family and friends so that they can join us and be blessed extraordinarily by the service. Spread the word. Help us out out there. Also, if you've been blessed by this ministry, if you look on your screen, we have detailed information on how you can sow a seed into the ministry. And the Bible says if we sow bountifully, we'll reap bountifully. But if we sow sparingly, we'll reap sparingly. And when we give, we give with a cheerful heart. So if you've been blessed by our broadcast, we really would love to see you go and sow into the ministry as God has been blessing you and as God speaks to your heart to be a blessing. We are blessed to be a blessing. So we love you and we thank you in advance for sowing that seed into our ministry. And we ask God to multiply the seed sown. Well, we love you all and we're so glad that you're a part of this ministry with us. And we're going to take time right now to get into the wonderful word of God. Well, good morning. Welcome to Reach Church Live. We want to welcome all of you watching on YouTube, and we want to welcome all of you watching on Facebook uh, today. We're glad you're with us. Happy Mother's Day to all you moms, mums, all you mothers. Uh, we want to wish you a happy Mother's Day, and uh, God bless you. We're so happy that you are with us today. I say mom because we have a wonderful sister in the Lord that's part of our church, and she just put on our YouTube, YouTube channel comment, happy birthday, all you moms. And, um, and so uh, we love you, Marva. Thank you for commenting on YouTube. God bless you and all of you that are watching and all of you that are watching on Facebook. As it said in the announcements just a moment ago, don't forget to click share. And on YouTube, don't forget to click subscribe. There's also a notifications button there that if you click the notifications button, it'll notify you whenever we're live on Sunday mornings during the week. And we are very excited that coming up either this week or next week, we're going to start to do a live service during the week uh, in the evening time, either like on a Tuesday, Wednesday or Thursday. And we're working out those details now. So uh, be sure to follow us at ReachTampa.com. And uh, we'll be able to uh, we'll be able to no uh, notify you of all those changes. Once again, happy Mother's Day to all you moms that are watching. We we so honor you. We bless you and we thank God for you that you are here, because if you weren't here, guess what? We wouldn't be here. <laughs> so we do. We thank God for you. Visit us at ReachTampa.com for more information. I want you I want to encourage you this morning to take your Bibles to open to the book of Proverbs. Chapter 31, I want to take a moment this morning and I want to talk to all the moms. And if you're not a mom, then you can still be blessed by this and be encouraged by this. But I do want uh, this morning to take a few extra minutes and just bless the moms with an encouraging word uh, from Proverbs chapter 31. And this morning I want to talk to you about time. Several years ago, I actually did this message on a Mother's Day and I felt impressed in my heart uh, to do it. Again, probably maybe the Holy Spirit knows that some of you moms are going through a different season in your life where investing time in your life um, is a difficult thing with children. And now they're homeschooling, uh, you know, not really homeschooling, but they're uh, they're doing online schooling with COVID-19, <coughs> excuse me, and you're not finding much time for yourself. It was hard enough to find time for yourself. When they were in school, when you dropped them off and you had to go back and get them several hours later, or they came home on the bus, maybe it was uh, hard enough to find time then. I know over the years uh, watching my wife, one of the things that uh, kind of led me and impressed me in this message or, or, or led me into this message was several years ago, just really looking into uh, my wife's life and, and as a mom and, 
and the time that she was investing in in her you know in her marriage and me as a as a as a husband and her as a wife and and as a mom that uh, she was investing so much time in other people and so I want to talk a little bit about that this morning and I'm going to begin reading in a verse one and of Proverbs thirty one and we're going to dedicate and we're going to take uh, we're going to take a few moments and I'm going to read this chapter. Proverbs chapter 31, verse 1, the sayings of King Lemuel contain this message, which his mother taught him. And it says, O my son, O son of my womb, O son of my vows, do not waste your strength on women, on those who ruin kings. It is not for kings. Uh, let's, let's drop down to verse 10 after reading that. Let's drop down to verse 10. Who can find a virtuous and capable wife? She is more precious than rubies. Her husband can trust her. And she will greatly enrich his life. She brings him good, not harm, all the days of her life. She finds, we're in verse 13, she finds wool and flax and busily spends it. She is like a merchant's ship, like a merchant ship bringing her food from afar. She gets up before dawn. This is explaining, this right here explains a wife and a mom. She gets up before dawn to prepare breakfast for her household and plan the day's work for her servant girls. She goes to inspect a field and buys it with her earnings, and she plants a vineyard. She is energetic and strong, a hard worker. Hard worker, mom. You are hard workers. She makes sure her dealings are profitable and her lamps burn late into the night. You know, I watched a video one time, and I'll, I'll sidetrack here. I watched a video one time about the most stressful, most uh, hardworking job and, and the, the most time-consuming job, but it was the least paying job, and it was a video all about Mother's Day, and it really is true. Moms work so hard, they dedicate their whole life for so many years, and one of the things that as we leave the scriptures here in just a moment and go to the the body of the message, one of the things that's so important is that in this, you have to remember, moms, you have to remember to take care of you. I don't know if you've, obviously, none of us have ridden on a plane lately, most likely, uh, but when you ride on a plane, one of the things that the stewardess and the steward, the, 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 the men and women that are on the plane, tell us to do, that if something goes wrong with the plane, and and the um, and the oxygen is limited in the plane. The very first thing that we have to do as parents is we have to put the mask on ourselves first before we put it on the child. And it's not because the child doesn't matter, but the reality is, is if we don't put the mask on ourselves and we end up passing out and dying be- for, from lack of oxygen, then we can't help the child, and the child ends up dying too and not getting oxygen. So they're very specific to say, make sure that you put it on yourself first so that you're in a position to help somebody else. And moms, I want to encourage you in the message, and we're going to go back to a few verses here. I want to encourage you. You have to take care of yourself. Please, moms, please take care of yourself. I can personally say, you know, and I don't mean anything wrong by this, but my own mom uh, my biological mom and my adopted mom. Uh, you know, my biological mom didn't take care of herself. She went through a lot of stress. She went through a lot of pain with my father um, and turned to alcoholism. And she died at 35 years of age, almost 36 years of age. She may have been 36. She died at a very young age. I've already lived 12 years longer than my own biological mother did. And it's because she didn't take care of herself because of the pressures of life, the stress of children, a marriage that didn't work, and, 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 and abuse that was happening, and things that were happening that shouldn't have happened. But you have to take care of yourself. And then my adopted mom, she passed away in her early 60s because she was caring for her mom, my grandmother, and caring for my father who had had a stroke. And in all of that, in the stresses of life, she really wasn't able to really care for herself the way that she should have cared for her, uh, for herself. And, and she went on to be with the Lord. Yes, she's dancing the streets of gold, and she's with the Lord, and she's in no pain and no sickness. But in reality, she still should be here. She should not be already gone. 
have been gone in her early 60s because she didn't take care of herself while she was taking care of other people. And moms, I'm telling you, you have to take care of yourself. You're going to look up 16, 17, 18, 20, 25 years later. You're going to look up and you're going to wonder. And especially you young moms that are watching right now, you young moms that are watching, please. I'm not a mom. I can't speak from experience as a mom. But I can speak from experience as a husband watching a mom. I can speak from experience as a son watching two moms. I can, ex- I, I can speak from the experience of watching. I can't, ex- I, I can't speak from the experience of doing, but I can from watching. And it is so important, you young moms with young children, and even you moms with teenage children, it's not too la- late. Grab a hold of yourself now. Grab a hold of yourself now. Get before God and say, God, what do I need to do? If you've got to wake up an hour, an hour a day every morning early before everyone else rises is worth saving your life. It is worth preserving your life. It is worth preserving your relationship with God. So let, let's go back. Verse 19. Her hands are busy spinning thread. Her fingers twisting fiber. She extends a helping hand to the poor and opens her arms to the needy. She has no fear of winter for her household. Now remember, this is the passage of the virtual woman, the virtuous woman. She has no fear of winter for her household, for everyone has warm clothes. A mom knows that her kids are going to be all right. She makes her own bedspreads. She dresses in fine linen and purple gowns. Her husband is well known at the city gates where he sits with other civic leaders. She makes belted linen garments and sashes to sell the merchants. She is clothed, watch this, she is clothed with strength and dignity. Strength and dignity. And she laughs without fear of the future. When she speaks, when she speaks, her words are wise And she gives instructions with kindness. She carefully watches everything in her household and suffers nothing from laziness. Her children stand and bless her. Are you listening, my children, my girls, my three girls? Her children stand and bless her as mom. We as children Any of you children that are watching, you teenagers that are watching, you need to go up to your mom and you need to say, Mom, I bless you in Jesus' name. I bless you with the blessing of God. I bless you with the blessing of God that makes one rich and he adds no sorrow to it. I bless you. I bless you, Mom, on this Mother's Day. I bless you. I bless you. I bless you with all strength. I bless you with all dignity. I bless you with with honor. I bless you with respect. I bless you with peace. I bless you with joy. I bless you with what you need, mom, to be a mom, to be a wife, to be a daughter of God. Children, that's what you need to do to your moms. Even us adult adults that are, you know, that our moms are still alive, we need to call. We need to FaceTime our mom today and say, Mom, I bless you today, this Mother's Day, in Jesus' name. I bless you with all spiritual blessings. I bless you with everything you need from God. And this is what he said. Her children stand and bless her. Her praises, her husband praises her. I'm going to take a moment. I praise you, Quenisha. I praise you. I honor you. I respect you. I, 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 I adore you for all that you do as a mom. We need to do that with our wives and with our moms. You are a virtuous woman. You are a respectful woman. You are a woman of character and integrity. And I bless you with all the blessings from God. We need to do that to our moms today. There are many virtuous. We're in verse 29. There are many virtuous and capable women in the world, but you surpass them all. That's the kind of blessing that we need to do. My daughters are in studio today. Girls, you need to write down verse 28 and 29. Write down verse 28, 29 of chapter 31 and speak it over your mom today. I'm having a little dad moment here. There are many virtuous and capable women in the world, but you surpass them all. Queen Allen, you surpass them all. That's my mother-in-law. You surpass them all. You surpass them all. Laney, my my mother-in-law, you surpass them all. 
You surpass them all. I, I, I bless you. And you are a capable, most capable, virtuous woman in the world. And you surpass them all. Lainey, Queen, and Quenisha, you surpass them all. Every one of you call your moms and say that. Read this verse to them today. Verse 30. Charm, watch this. Charm is deceptive. Charm is deceptive. Be careful of being charmed. Be careful of being charmed. Charm is deceptive and beauty is does not last, but a woman who fears the Lord will gr- be greatly will be greatly praised. A woman who fears the Lord will greatly be praised. Yes, they will. Charm is deceptive, and beauty does not last. We all know, ladies. Now I'm not a lady, but we all know. Some things, as you age, don't last. You know, they just don't last. And things start to happen. So beauty may change, but the inner you does not change. The inner you, the virtuous woman, the capable woman, the woman of strength and dignity, the woman of respect and honor, it does not change. No matter how you think you may have failed over the years, no matter how you think you could have been a better mom, no matter how you think you could have done things differently, you are a virtuous, capable woman full of strength, dignity, respect, and honor. Do not stop right now. Do not look at what you did not do, but look at what you did do. Look at the beauty and, 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 and the honor of your children. Look at how they have grown up and become great young men, great young women, and you have done an amazing job. So don't you dare begin to think on the negative. Don't you dare begin to think on the not so good, but to think on those things. That are, are, that are lovely. Think on those things that are pure. Think on those things that are of a good report. You need to think on these things, says God. Amen. You need to think on those things in the name of Jesus. Now, verse 31, and then we'll go to a few points I want to share with you. Reward her for all she has done. Let her deeds publicly declare her praise. Amen. May God bless the reading of his word and bless every mom out there this morning. You are a virtuous and more than capable woman. I want to talk to you about time. I want to talk to you about time. And I'm not going to spend much time on these, on these uh, four points. I wanted to use the, the word time and break it into an acronym, T-I-M-E. I wanted to do that this morning and speak a few words of encouragement. Do not tune off... <clears throat> Of, of, of YouTube, and I want to remind you, at the bottom, right, right below the, the video right now, click subscribe and click the notifications button so you can be notified when we're live. But I want to read to you a couple of things and some points that might be a blessing to you. Moms are a solid rock. They're a solid rock. T, treasure. I want to talk to you for a moment about treasuring yourself. There's nothing wrong with treasuring yourself. You have to treasure yourself, moms. You have to take the time and treasure yourself. What does treasure mean? It means to keep carefully. It's a valued item. It's a valued item. Moms, you value and valued item. You're not an item. You are a person, but you are valued. You are so valued beyond what us husbands and us children have ever expressed You are valued beyond what we could express. And you need to value, I want to encourage you to value yourself. Take time to value and put value in yourself because you are worth it. You are worth it. It's not in what you do, but it's who you are. There's not value in you because you get up, you make breakfast, you put lunches together, you raise your children. That's not, it's not in what you do. It's who you are. When God breathed the breath of life into you, he breathed it into you because he loved you. Not what you were going to do. He knew you'd be a mom one day. He knew you'd be a wife one day. He didn't breathe the breath of life into you to be a wife, 
to be a mom. He breathed the breath of life into you to be his daughter. And he values you. He loves you. He cherishes you. He appreciates you, not only for who you are to him, but for who you are to your spouse and who you are to your children. Your value is not in what you do for others, but who you are as a created being. That's your value. Your value is in who you are as a created being. So moms, treasure and value yourself enough. Where when you need to, where you need to reassign some priorities in your life, where you need to change up some things in your life, where you need to say yes and where you need to say no, speak up. Speak up. Don't hold it, hold it in. You introverts out there, don't you hold it in. Don't you hold it in. You speak up. And you value yourself. You treasure yourself. And you put value in you. Why? Because God puts value in you. Number two, invest. Invest in yourself. You are worth it. Invest in yourself. What does invest mean? To provide or endow someone with a particular quality or attribute or attributes. You are to invest in yourself. You are to wake up one day when the children are gone to school and the husband's gone to work. You are to wake up one day and say, I'm going to the salon today. I'm going to get my nails done. I'm going to get my feet done. I'm going to get my face done. I'm going to get a massage. I'm going to go take care of my... I'm going to invest in me today. I invest hours, how many hours, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 148, 168 hours a week. I'm good at math. 168 hours a week. You are investing constantly in someone else. What is wrong with you taking a day? And I'm not talking about Mother's Day. You're going to get honored and you're going to get cherished today. I'm not talking about Mother's Day. I'm talking about a day a week. I'm talking about, I'm talking about you know, just often where you say, you know what, I'm going to take a few hours today. I'm going to get my nails done. I'm going to get my feet done. I'm going to get my facial done. <laughs> and I'm going to take care of me. I'm going to take care of me and invest in myself. What is it that you need or you want? It's not always, moms, listen to me. It's not always about what you need. When you need something, take it. It's about you as a mom feeling okay when you just want something. I want a few hours by myself. I want a day by myself. Take Men, husbands, once or twice a year, send your wife away for three days, five days, by herself. I know some of us men don't want to do that. Be like, ramen noodles, thank goodness for Chef Boyardee. Yeah, we don't want to do that, do we? We don't want to send mom away because then we got to take care of the kids. We got, but you know what? If you want mom to be there for the long haul, you need to take care of mom. You need to take care of moms. You need to send her away three to five days, sitting out by the pool at a nice resort, sitting out on the beach. Take care of mom. Let her have some time. Moms, invest in yourself, and you do not need to be embarrassed. You do not need to be ashamed, and you don't need to feel like you're being selfish. You're actually not being selfish by investing in yourself. You're actually being unselfish, realizing that you can't continue at the pace that you're going and take care of your family. So invest in yourself. Let me say this to you, and I know this. It may seem harsh to some moms because I've given my life. What about people giving, giving back to me? And we need to give back to you moms. We need to give back to you moms. We have fallen short. Some of us have fallen short on that. But listen to this statement I'm about to say. And you need to know this because until you realize this, you won't invest in yourself. No one will ever invest in you like you. No one will ever invest in you like you should. 
you should invest in you, mom, and set the example for the husband and the child. This is what I expect. I expect to be taken care of like this. No one is going to invest in you. Just like your dreams and desires, no one is going to invest and believe in your dreams and desires like you are. <clears throat> I'm telling you. No, I, people love me. My wife loves me. My children love me. The pastors that I've served under over the years, they love me. But no one, no one has ever believed in my dream, my calling, and my purpose in life more than me. No one. No one. I might not have a 5,000-member church. I might not have a 1,000-member church. I might not even have a 500-member church yet. But what I do have, God and I and my wife, God with her support, God and I have built this dream. We have built this purpose because no one has believed in me like me. Don't ever blame anyone for your dreams and passions and desires not coming to pass without first looking at you, because it is you that is going to believe in your dreams the most. Remember this, no one is going to invest in you like you. Number three, M. Can you say this word? Me. Me. You've been saying for so many years as a mom, we, we, we. Flip the W upside down, and it's time to think about me. Moms, it's time to think about you. If moms, listen to this, mom, you need to realize this. If moms ain't happy, ain't nobody happy. For real. For real. If moms ain't happy, ain't nobody happy. In the house, ain't nobody eating, ain't nobody sleeping, ain't nobody laughing, ain't nobody smiling, everybody cranky. Moms, you got to be about me sometimes. It's okay. Now, don't go overboard where it's all about you because it ain't all about you. The Bible says that he who loses his life for my sake will find it, but he who finds his life will lose it. So don't become so much about you that you lose everything, but become about you enough to where you invest enough in yourself so that you can be fulfilled in everything that God has called you to do. Go away. Take some, take some tips. Go away. Get refreshed. Listen, moms, we'll be all right. We'll be all right. A-I-G-H-T. We'll be all right. We're going to be all right, all right? Go away. Get refreshed. Take care of yourself. We already talked about that. Shut the door. Go in your room. Shut the door for a few hours. Take a hot bath. Read a book. Watch HGTV. Watch an action movie, all right? Don't watch no movie with Tom Cruise and George Clooney and LL Cool J and all that kind of stuff. No, you don't need to be watching that kind of stuff. I'm just playing. I'm just playing with you. Watch a movie. Read a book. Do a crossword puzzle. You know what? I know this is a curse word to most moms out there, but it's a three-letter word. Are you ready? Nap. N-A-P. Take a nap. When's the last time during the day you shut the door, turned on the fan, turned on a humidifier, took out all the outside noise, and took a nap? Take a nap for yourself. Work out. Get on the treadmill. Go for a run. Go for a walk. Go to the gym. Work out. Take care of yourself. Don't cook. Tell the whole family, I ain't cooking today. Eat toast. I ain't cooking today. And I, I'm not talking about just Mother's Day. It's okay every couple of weeks. I ain't cooking. I ain't cooking today. Tell the husband, it's your job to get, get the meal. Either you're cooking and everybody's dying or you're going out and buying at the restaurant and everybody's living. <laughs> All right? Don't cook one day. Take a break. Listen, I know many moms don't like to feed frozen dinners, 
But everybody, everybody's going to live with a frozen pizza once in a while. Everybody's going to live with frozen lasagna. I know some men are getting really mad at me today, but it's the truth. We're going to be all right. We're going to be all right. Don't cook. Leave the house a mess. Yeah, leave the house a mess. Go to sleep one night and leave the baby stuff all over the place. Leave the dishes all on the sink. The sink's right here. Leave the dishes up to here. Don't even stress yourself with telling the kids, clean up the dishes. Just punish them in the morning. Don't say nothing. Just punish them in the morning. And you, <laughs> just have peace. Just go to sleep. Just go to sleep and don't worry about it. It's okay to leave a few crumbs on the floor. If you get a few ants in the morning, that's why they make ant spray. Stop stressing. Today, we're not going to use the M word in the house. Tell the kids, we ain't using the M word. I don't want to hear the word mom. Figure it out yourself. If you're dying, call on Jesus because I can't help you anyway. That's a joke. But we're not going to use the M word today. Whatever it is, and those are just a few examples. Moms, take some time for me. Take some time for me. Not only on Mother's Day. Take some time for you. Point number four, and we'll conclude. Encourage yourself. You know, David had to encourage himself in the Lord. I know he's a guy, but David had to encourage himself in the Lord. He had to take time, and he had to do that. And it's probably the most important thing that you'll ever do as a mom. You're one of the greatest assets. I'm going to go over to this camera here. You're one of the greatest assets in the world. There's nothing like a mom. Nothing like a mom in all the world. If there weren't moms, we wouldn't be here. Mom, you are cherished. You are loved. You are respected. You are honored. You are a woman of strength. You're a woman of dignity. You are a virtuous woman, according to Proverbs 31. You have to take some time, treasure yourself, invest in yourself, take some me time, and encourage yourself in the Lord. If you don't encourage yourself in the Lord, you will go dry and and let me say this, not just encourage yourself in the Lord, just encourage yourself. I'm a good mom. I'm a great mom. I love my children. I take care of my children. I'm blessed of the Lord. I am a woman of strength and dignity. I am a woman of honor and respect. Encourage yourself because that is who you are, mom. You are a wonderful woman, a respected woman, and you are blessed and highly favored of the Lord. I pray today that God would meet every mom's need today. Spiritual, soul, and body. I speak the blessing of the Lord upon every mom today. The kind of blessing that maketh one rich and he adds no sorrow to it. I bless you with all spiritual blessings from above. I bless you with the physical strength in your body to be a mom. I bless you with in your mind, your will, and your emotions. I speak peace to your mind. I speak stillness of the storm to your mind. I speak to that restless mind of yours that keeps going and going and going and going and going, and going like the Energizer Bunny, and never stopping. I speak peace to your mind today. I speak peace to your mind today. To your will, that you surrender your will to God. Not my will, but thine will be done, O God. Jesus, the Son of God, had to submit willingly his will to the Father. He had to submit his will to the Father. And I speak to you now and encourage you to surrender your will to God now. Your emotions. I speak stability to your emotions in the name of Jesus. 
in the chaos, in this quarantine, in this isolation. Now, I'll tell you, we've been blessed, and my wife has told me that during this quarantine, you know, we live on a, on a few acres uh, here just outside of Tampa, and during this quarantine and this isolation, it's been nice to get out of our property and walk and listen to the trees blowing and the birds singing and, 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 and the, crane, uh, the cranes talking. And it's been beautiful during our quarantine. But if, if we were living in the same house we were a year and a half ago, two years ago, and had this quarantine with a family 10 feet on that side and a family 10 feet on that side, man, it would have it driven us nuts. So I know some of you that live close to neighbors and stuff, it's like, where do you go? What do you do? I understand because it's been crazy with us even here. You know, even here on, on a few acres, it's been crazy. But I want to encourage you right now. I speak stability to your emotions in the chaos of this COVID-19, in, this, in the chaos of this quarantine. I speak stability to your emotions and your hormone balance in your body. I speak normal levels throughout the chemicals in your body. I speak emotional stability to you in the name of Jesus. But moms, I feel impressed and I feel impressed right now to tell you this. Your emotions and your hor- hormones are going to get off balance if you keep letting the enemy play with your mind. Don't let Joyce Meyer says this is the battlefield of the mind. She wrote a book called The Battlefield of the Mind. I read it years ago. Incredible book. This is where your battle is. You've got to renew You've got to renew your mind every single day with the reading of the Word of God. And if you're a busy mom, have the, have the Scriptures come up on your phone app. You've got to encourage yourself in the Lord. But the renewing of your mind is the key to having emotional stability and hormonal balance throughout your body. I speak stability to that. And I speak strength to your spirit. We've covered the, emo- the, the, the soul, and we've covered the body. I speak strength to your spirit today in the name of Jesus. I speak strength to your spirit today in the name of Jesus. Happy Mother's Day. Maybe you're watching right now, and you've never given your life to Jesus. Say this prayer with me. Say, Jesus, I believe that you're the Son of God. I believe you died on the cross. And I believe you rose again. I ask you to come into my heart. I ask you to be my Lord and Savior. Do in me what no one else can do. Change me like no one else can change me. Work in me like no one else can work in me. God, I receive your forgiveness. I'm a child of God. I'm going to heaven. In Jesus' name. If you prayed that prayer, put something in the comments. Let us know. Send us an email. Visit us at reachtampa.com. Don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere right now. We have a closing announcement that's about to take place from my wife here. So just hold on. Don't leave. Don't leave the screen. Don't forget to click subscribe on the YouTube. Don't forget to click the notifications button on Facebook. Like our Facebook page. Like our Instagram page at Reach Church Tampa. At Reach Church Tampa on Facebook, on Instagram. Follow us. We love you. Happy Mother's Day. God bless you. Stay tuned. My wife's coming on right now. Thank you for watching. I know you had an extraordinary time during praise and worship. Praising God, dancing with your slippers on or your shoes or whatever that may have been. And I hope you were shouting as the word of God was preached this morning. We're so glad you joined us. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and like us on Facebook. If you can comment and share where you're watching from, because we want to see you. Ladies, happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day once again. I hope you're having an amazing day. Continue to have an amazing day and be spoiled more than ever and ever before. Like you deserve so much. Also, once again, visit us online at reachtampa.com. And if you would like to sow a financial seed, that information should be shown across your screen right now as we speak. 
so you can go and do that and look at that detail and we look forward to seeing you with us next week at 9:55 a.m. Holla! Hopefully he wasn't on there one.